Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and whoa, we just got a new trailer for the Black Widow movie, which has been pushed back again, and again, and again, and now it's coming out July 9th. They're gonna do a dual release in theaters, but also on Disney Plus premiere access. So everyone will be able to see it. I'm so excited, I've waited too long for this movie, and I'm glad they have a new trailer to remind us all of what this movie is gonna be. So I'm gonna react to it and uh, talk about maybe some big takeaways from it. Here we go. No, we don't. I loved all our lives. Yes, you have. Before I was an editor. Ooh, old stuff. Before I had this family. Civil War, but that was in an Age of Ultron. Mistakes. Choose. Endgame. Between what the world wants you to be. Age of Ultron flashback. And Vormir. Oh, God. Oh. Ah, oh, fade to white. Who is that? Where do you think I was on this time? Well, that's, um, okay. We have unfinished business. My girls. Yeah, yeah that's... Oh, okay, cool. I'm sorry. We had not ordered this empty play. The opera wasn't real. Interesting. It was real to me. There's a lot of new stuff in this. Oh, half and half, bro. Ooh, Taskmaster and Drakov, I think. Kablooey. I'm so excited to see what this scene is. What is going on? What? Done being in Marvel movies. What is this? Oh, I love it. Ooh, chills. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, uh, I am once again excited to have this movie in my life. Remember Marvel movies, guys? Okay, so just some reminders of what this is gonna be. We know this story is gonna be set between Captain America Civil War and Infinity War. And we also know from trailer footage that it is revisiting the city of Budapest. We know the city has some significance to Hawkeye and Black Widow. It's where they worked on a past mission and they brought it up again and again. And now we're finally, hopefully gonna see what that whole Budapest story was. And early on in this trailer, we get some images from past Avengers movies. We see something from the first Avengers film when they suit up in before the Battle of New York. Interesting, they include this one shot from the airport battle in Civil War, but it was from the trailer for Civil War before Spider-Man was added into that Team Iron Man lineup. So they didn't use it from the movie, they used it from the trailer. Interesting. More shots from the Battle of Sokovia, something that's very important right now on the Falcon the Winter Soldier. The opening Sokovia and Hydra base raid from Age of Ultron. That Hydra base was revisited in WandaVision and then you have some shots from the time heist in Endgame, including when she let go of Clint on Vormir, sacrificing herself so that he could get the Soul Stone. Now, interestingly, mixed in here is this flashback shot from her Age of Ultron Scarlet Witch nightmare that she was given, where she was firing at this target in the Red Room. But what they don't show in this trailer is what she thought was a target was actually a victim with a cloth bag over his head. She was kind of being brainwashed into this heartless assassin. And in this Black Widow movie, it's those memories that she is now wading back into, as painful as that might be. So the big question from this trailer is, who is this blue-haired kid? I assume this is Natasha Romanov when she was a younger girl. She dyed her hair blue, but you can see those red roots. I thought this was the case, but yeah, this actress is Mila Jovovich's daughter. Her name is Ever Anderson. So apparently we're gonna be seeing some flashbacks to when Natasha was kind of brought into the whole red room process as a young girl. We also see flashback footage of young Natasha with like a younger David Hart a younger Rachel Weisz, making it seem like they actually could be her real parental figures who were willing to give her away to the Red Room. And she has always felt resentful of that. So yeah, this might be confirmed that Alexei Shostakov, Red Guardian, was either her father or maybe just a father figure that she lived with, part of a unit that she was part of, her original family that was willing to part ways with her. And that was some resentment that she's always carried since. Yeah, because you see him saying, these girls are the toughest girls in the world. And I think Natasha and Yelena must have been raised as sister figures 
figures. They're not actual sisters. So this is kind of a, a foster family that came together before it was broken apart to serve the Russian state. Now, other big new stuff from this trailer. We see a bit more of Taskmaster, specifically how Taskmaster is connected to Ray Winstone's character, whom we haven't seen yet, but he does show up here, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be playing Drakov. You remember the name Drakov? Back in the first Avengers film, Loki taunted Natasha, saying, don't you remember the hospital fire in Sao Paulo? Drakov's daughter. There's some Drakov and his daughter back in Natasha's past. Some fellow Red Room Black Widow assassin whom Natasha just let die. Actually, Olga Kurlienko is going to be playing some limited role in the series. She may be playing Drakov's daughter. Either way, we see Ray Winstone's character in this kind of Russian office room that I've pointed out in past trailer breakdowns with this red global layout. And it looks like there is one asset in Morocco. Maybe is that Casablanca? It looks like there's going to be some other African setting here. I assume this is where he deploys all of his different Black Widow agents just to see where all of them are at any one time. But yeah, this guy seems to also be controlling Taskmaster. He says, bring her home. Yeah, we get this other cryptic shot of the Taskmaster helmet and garb as like, it looks like a woman's arms uncover it. Now, a lot of people have speculated that Rachel Weisz's character, Melina Shostakov, aka Iron Maiden, could be the identity of Taskmaster or maybe Elena Belova. I don't think so. Maybe one of them shares this identity with someone else, but I think a better candidate would be O.T. Fag Benley's character, Rick Mason, who has not shown up in any promo footage whatsoever. So he seems to be kind of like a tech support asset to Natasha. But yeah, I think that's going to be him behind the mask. He's the one who's been studying the Avengers, learning all their moves, copying a lot of their gear. And we close out with this glorious Russian female choir singing the Avengers theme. That's so freaking cool. I had serious chills hearing that. And imagine these are just the agonized cries of the women of the KGB Red Room who have seen themselves as Avengers their whole lives, but are now scattered and abandoned and trying to avoid thinking about all the ink on their ledger. Hey, by the way, I am wearing our Falcon Winter Soldier inspired anarchy assembled custom design shirt that you can get at newrockstarsmerch.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss. Follow New Rockstars. Subscribe to New Rockstars for breakdowns of everything you love. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>